Okay, hello there guys. Welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we are gonna have a look at uh, uh, data grid views and see uh, how we can connect these or bind them into data tables. So we have this C Sharp project. It contains a, a database here. It's called database one that uh, contains a data table sorry that contains a table uh, it's called users and it uh, stores user ID username and user age as you can see here next I created the data set that you see here it's called database one data set okay and uh, I didn't modify anything it's as simple as that now the thing that uh, the wizard or the designer creates for you when you drag and drop things here okay, let me drag and drop this one here okay you are used to seeing this right this is called a data grid view right uh, this is called a binding navigator and this is our data set this is our binding source table data etc etc so what if you don't want the designer to create these for you instead you want to create them manually okay so I'm gonna delete these and this one as well let me go to the load event let me remove these yeah. okay and now let me go back to the form oops uh, I might need to pull this one, right? Pull. Okay, let me remove this line of code and go back to the form. Okay, so, uh, okay, so we have this form now and we created our data set as you can see and now we want to connect things but we want to do that manually we don't want to depend on the designer you might be wondering why is that well in some cases you might want to do that I'm, I'm not sure because uh, I don't depend on the designer much I usually do almost almost everything via code uh, okay so what do you need to do well if you create your own data set and you go to the toolbar you'll find that there is uh, a number of controls that appear you can see here Windows Forms Application 28 and uh, if you open that you will find your data set your table adapter manager and users table adapter now the when you create a data set each element in the data set or let's say the tables and uh, the adapters uh, are being converted or uh, uh, being expressed as controls so you can drag and drop them on the form so what do you need well obviously you need to load information from the uh, database so you will need a table adapter because of that we are going to track and drop a table adapter for users so I will change this one to be users TA for the users table adapter and also we will need a data set to store our information in so I'll drag and drop that and I will change this into uh, DS for data set okay and also you will need to connect or some you will need some kind of control to display your data in uh, so I'm gonna drag this one and drop it here and this is a data grid view and it doesn't display anything at all now now the problem is how to bind this control to the the data set, right? Well, there are two properties. There is data uh, source versus the there is data source. If you open this one, you can open this one here. And go here. You'll find this is our data set, uh, and there is data member. You need to specify which table you are connecting to. And when I do that. You see that the data credit view now displays the information or the call of names only, not the information. If I run things here, 
I see nothing and that's because I haven't filled the information in the buffer. So all I have to do in the load event of the form I will say users table adapter dot full and I need to pass uh, data set dot users. Okay, I need to pass this table. Oops. And now I will give a, uh, give it a run, and you see the information here. Everything everything looks okay. I hope this is very straightforward, you guys. Anyway, so. What I did here in order to connect this one uh, or this data grid view to our data set is what uh, is uh, changing the data source property and data member. Okay, so what if you want to, for example, uh, let me put a button here, I will call this set changes. Changes. If I remember correctly, uh, I need a binding source in order for this to work. But anyway, uh, I am gonna say here uh, users table adapter dot update, and I will need to pass ts dot users. Oops, dot users. Okay, so um, let me start this and okay, something like that. Save changes. Okay, I think this one works, I'm not sure, but anyway, to make sure that it worked, I might need to load the information again from the database. So this one's loading the information. So we are updating things here, and uh, yeah. So let's see two, two, three, three, and I click this one. Okay, and it works. So it's very straightforward when you change the information and you call the update method passing the data table. Uh, the database will get updated accordingly. Now. Uh, if you think about it, or if you remember our previous programs, uh, uh, the designer created many, many, many controls for us, not only use these three. Well, the reason that the designer adds few other features for us, okay? So what am I going to do? I'm going to leave this one here. I won't uh, delete it. And it create another... Uh, the data grid view and add some other controls. So now I will go to uh, a control called binding navigator and I will drop it here. Uh, uh, sorry, first the binding source, this one, and then the binding navigator. Okay, and I will change this to BN for sure. Now the binding navigator. Uh, if you look here, it, it adds to you a number of buttons, okay? And these buttons allow you to move between the uh, the controls, okay? It, it might not make so, uh, much sense in the data grid control, but if you are reviewing the information as details, you will definitely need a binding navigator, okay? And uh, the binding navigator, in order for it to work, it needs a binding source. And the binding source is connecting to the dataset. So what we need to do next uh, is to connect the binding source to our table. So you will go to its properties, you will find a data source. Okay, open that, open that. And you will find... I'll, I'll, uh, sorry the uh, data member here. Okay, and next we will get to this one, to the binding navigator, and there's a property called binding source. Yeah, it's here. Okay, so now this one's connecting to this one, which connects to this one. And now, what we need to do 
is, well, I can modify this one, but I will leave it as it is because I want to show you something. Instead, I will drag another data grid view. Okay. And I will change its binding source to uh, this one. This is our binding source, sorry. Okay. And you see that I didn't have to specify the data number. Why? Because the binding source already knows which table I'm connecting to. Uh, if, you, if you see the data source data number for the previous one, you see it's connecting to a data set and users, but this one's connecting only to the binding source. And the binding source has the details, which is data set and, data, uh, and users table. Right? Okay, so now let's see what kind of behavior we had now. This one remembers connecting to the bind, uh, binding navigator uh, to the binding source and binding navigator. This one's connecting to the data set directly. So let's let's see that. Okay, so I'm gonna change this. Ch check this out. All right? You see now I can navigate here and the current record changes. Right? The current record is changing without a problem. Now, uh, what if I want them both to connect to the uh, to the same uh, navigator. Well, I have to go to this one, uh, go to the data source, and connect that to the binding source. Okay, now they are both connected. Usually, you don't need to, you know, make both controls connect to the same data. Uh, this is just for demonstration. I'm just showing you that multiple controls could connect to the same binding navigator and binding uh, source. Okay, so if you look at this now, we now used the same set of controls, right? We used the, uh, the same set of controls that the designer creates for us, okay? Uh, the, the minimum requirement for our uh, for us to connect our control to uh, a data table is a table adapter for loading information and uh, a data set for storing that information and the control itself and all we have to do as you have seen is just specifying the data source and the data number now if you want to add extra features like navigating for example, and moving uh, through records, you will need extra things like binding source, okay, and binding navigator. And your control needs to connect to the binding source in order for the navigator to work, okay. And uh, I think uh, that will be all for today. I just wanted to show you how you can bind uh, one of the controls, uh, in this case, the data grid view to your data. Okay? Uh, in the next video we, we will have a look at uh, other controls like for example text text boxes and we can see later on how we can uh, display details information. Uh, the method is not that different. Usually usually you will always see the same thing again and again which is bind binding source and data member and you specify these two and your control knows how to connect to them uh, it's that easy okay uh, I hope you'll find this useful thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye